many of you know the voice, go, 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 uh, but don't know the guy. This is Brett Adair. Uh, every time I go around Brett in Little Rock, people stop and thank us for our coverage, but they specifically mention you. Uh, you saved lives that day with that feed and that live tornado coming through West Little Rock on March 31st. No, no, no. We did. We did. It you, was a team effort, it, but it, your video made people take action. Well, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the people here in Little Rock. Um, you know, we've been out on these storms many, many times here in this area, and unfortunately, uh, we had a real case this time, right in the metro. Mm -hmm. um, I feel very fortunate that we were here in the area working with you that day, and, um, you know, it, it's a humbling experience. It's very humbling. It's great to realize that the people here took the urgency, took shelter, uh, went to their safe place like we, we tell everybody to do. And, uh, you know, they used our form of communication that day to to help save their lives and probably many others that we don't even know about. Uh, it's remarkable. High-end EF3 comes right through the Little Rock metro area, and there were no fatalities directly caused by that tornado. That's, How many times do you see that? That's incredible. That's almost unheard of this yeah. day and age when you get a major tornado that goes through an area like that. In case you, uh, we got the uh, just show a minute or two of the coverage of the tornado as it was coming to West Little Rock, and uh, this is Brett. You'll hear. Do we have Brett on the phone? It's so hard to tell from these pictures. Can you hear me? Brett, uh, we see the lowering. Is that a tornado right above the ten and ten fitness? I can I cannot confirm that that's a tornado there, but I can tell you right behind that sign, that whole larger area of yeah. it is rotating rapidly. Yeah, uh, very, very, very quick, quick rotation. rotation. Matter of fact, it's coming up. You got a funnel developing over the 10 now. That's, That's it. it. This, this is right over the, the left 10. Yeah, right here. Yep. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move. It's gonna come right over top of us. It's gonna come right over top of us. That's we're gonna have to move. Okay, Brett, stay with us. Again, this is coming into West Little Rock. We may have a tornado now on the mountain there. See it? Yeah, that's a hill out there in West Little Rock. That's probably out there buried. Okay, folks. I want to tell my wife, take cover now. Yes, please. And the Barry's family, too. All right, we got to go. we got to go. Hillsboro, Marlow Manor. Those locations, Barry, can you think of any other place? Yeah, it's all, it's it's that area. Uh, it's coming right here. Go, 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 go. That's go. what we told Yeah, that's a classic supercell storm. Let's stay with us. And I'm going to name out some of those towns. Let's stay here with that. There it is, big tornado. All right, stop, 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 stop. Get in, get right there. Get right there in yeah. the parking lot. That's yeah. it right there. Okay, that's coming right into West Little Rock, yep. down to the south of Rodney Parham. Right there. Hold up. Right here. Here we go. <laughs> Moving into West Little Rock on the southwest, just south of Rodney Parham, folks. This is coming up. I'm trying to think of some of the locations. Markham, West Markham, uh, Bowman. Yeah, in, in that area, right. Uh, uh, Asbury, Canis, Woodland. Big time debris. You got debris? All right, we need to Yep, yeah, I see the, the rapid movement. The left, yeah. We have a significant tornado on the ground in Little Rock. Uh, it's it's going to be crossing I-430, probably close to where Chanel Parkway dumps out onto I-630. All right, where do we go? Okay, okay. guys, you may want to go. All right, all right, gotta move, gotta move. All right, stay on. Brett, you're live on the air. Let's just, uh, uh, you're live on the air. Just tell us what you see. There's the tornado. It's on the ground in Little Rock. I think, are they issuing a tornado emergency yet? Have they issued one? Uh, they haven't yet. Big tornado. All right. It's passing behind us. Hold up. It's he says, let's stay with that. Okay. You know, yeah, it, it is starting it to ramp up. And folks, it's right. Okay. So that was our coverage on March 31st. I'm sure you've seen this since then. What, what was going through your mind in all this? How many people are going to die today? Um... Unfortunately, that was my first thought because when you see something that large, and unfortunately, we had to leave it because it was you're going to come dangerously close to us. You were within 50 or 75 yards. Of that. Oh, absolutely. Right there. We were at the gas station right in front of that 10 Fitness for, for quite a while, and uh, we're yelling at people out our window, take cover. You know, you hear me. I'm a little bit frantic at that point because we see people walking around. This is almost rush hour. you got people right. on a Friday. Two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Running right down Rodney Parham, and it's like, do you guys not even know what's going on? Most of them didn't see it. Yeah. They didn't see it coming until it was bearing down. I mean, we started seeing pieces of plywood, four by eight sheets of plywood, which we knew were going to be roofing material off houses, mm -hmm. falling out of the sky. So my concern at that point in time when I was seeing it, I wasn't saying it, but I was saying, 
how are we going to escape this with no injuries, no fatalities? And we had some injuries by yep. far, but nobody died. And I'm amazed. I'm, I'm just still amazed. amazed. I, I saw vehicles thrown. Vehicles tossed. You saw them flying in the air. Well, we did not see them flying in the air, but when we turned around, we went south on 430. We bailed a little bit. The tornado was coming up behind us, and we had pieces of insulation falling on our truck. When we turned around, we saw pieces of debris still falling out of the sky, and that was as the tornado was beginning to cross and it hit the shopping center and was going toward North Little Rock at that point. Um it was just surreal to watch that before your eyes because it's so large. I've seen these destructive tornadoes. We've tracked them many, many times before. And we don't have situations where we don't have fatalities in something like that. It's just amazing. It's a densely populated area. And, and it, it, it's because of you and, and, and uh, your, your guy over here. He, yeah, he, he's he, off camera. He's over there off camera. He was driving. Yes. Uh, and, and so you're telling him, go, 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 go. But people were you were it was like you were telling our viewers go 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 take action. There's the video. I cannot tell you how many times, daily on a daily basis, people took action based on that piece of video. Uh, we love that. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not a job for me. This is a passion to be a weather guy and to be out in the field and see this type of stuff because we do see it a lot. You got to be passionate about it. You got to care about the people that are being impacted, and you got to feel like you're making a difference to keep going back. I mean, just a week earlier, man, we dealt with fatal tornado that hit Rolling Fork, That's Mississippi, right. Silver City. We were doing search and rescue CPR on victims. I did not want to do that again, and I'm so thankful that the people took action. That the viewers here in this market took action based on what we all did that day. When I saw your feed. I was off. It was on on camera at this point, but you were pulling off the interstate towards Rodney Parham, and I when I saw you do that because I know how you you get right in the path and you're where you are. That's where the tornado is going to be very close to. I thought, and I, I there were some words going through my mind. I thought that's that's my area. That's my my home. That's my neighborhood. And I just you know you get that sick feeling in your gut, and you still do. But uh, again, I want to thank you too on behalf of all the viewers. Man, listen. I we will be here the next time if it ever occurs again. And we no, I don't want for to. you guys. No, no, no. We don't ever deal with this again in this area. Uh, unfortunately, Todd, we can talk realistically here. We know it's going to happen somewhere. It will. And, and we got to be prepared for that. Um, we put ourselves in a position. We've been doing this again. Uh, Heath is a wonderful driver. He listens and the instructions that I give him because he knows I've been through this time and time again. He's been with me a couple years now. And that was very important that day. I can't do this by myself. It takes a right. team in my Absolutely. vehicle, right? So, uh, unfortunately, we put ourselves in a place because here in the South, a lot of these are high precip. They're wrapped by rain. Right. You can't see them. Right. We had to get right in the path of it to be able to see it coming in our direction and to give you those shots. So, you know. Thank you so much, Brett. Not a problem. Don't ever come back to Little Rock again. <laughs> Except on sunny days, all right? Just to hang out. That's my exit. <laughs> we don't ever want to see you again in, in Little Rock, all right? All right. Don't take, don't take that personally. All right, that's Brett Adair. Live Storms Media, check them out. They have an app where you can watch their Storm Chasers, our partners there at Live Storms Media, and, of course, your website. Uh, great work you guys do. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for, for uh, taking the time and, you know, again, believing in, in what we do and, and uh, the team effort here. All right. Thank you very much, everybody, and, and thank you, Brett. And heat. Don't forget heat. Over there behind the camera. See ya.